Hang on. Mark on. Good morning, party people. Welcome to the breakdown with Nathan. I'm never ready, Johnny. He's late again, even in person. Can you believe it? I don't even know if my mic is on. He doesn't it know how to work his on. technology Come yet. Come on, man. We're down here, Not Fest, Sydney, 2023. Very excited. So freaking excited. It's going to be a killer day. Fingers crossed the weather keeps holding out because it was quite wet and stormy this morning. Nothing's going to rain our parade. We're going to take you through as we interview bands, talk to people in the crowd, and have a rocking good time. We'll see you guys out there. <laughs> just look at yeah, the crowd. <laughs> I just prefer not to. Have a great day. <laughs> yeah. You guys yeah. look good. Oh, this Chili. Really lovely. <laughs> yeah, we made this happen. I'm sorry, dude. It's a direction projection. I don't want to do this with you anymore. Okay. In instantly over you for the day. What time is it? Huge regrets. Uh, it's 9.01, 9 9 so at least I made it. The out festival of the doesn't start for another two hours and Mori over you. We just like, we've both just got our arms around you here. We get we get real comfortable in this track. Okay, good. Yeah. So, if you want to just sit down. <laughs> we'll like, do you, like, yeah. do you want to just <laughs> lay across the couch and we can like sit at either end, like a therapy right. session? Right. How are you feeling confidence wise? Does it throw you, obviously, not being able to play in Melbourne yesterday? Mm. Does that get in your head at all? Or is it just like, let it be? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. no, that's absolutely fine. No, no, I'm, that, that doesn't matter matter at all to me i just i want us to all to play when we feel comfortable playing yeah cool. and not not risk anything like oh let's go up and try it that's not really us that's yeah. not really how we do things so whenever we feel like yeah i feel comfortable we can do a pretty good show this time or at least like do do a good job then then we'll do it and um yeah yesterday didn't happen which was a bummer but uh it's like you know we fucking never that never happens to yeah. us so uh it, it's gotta happen at some point for every band like you've heard every every band has canceled a show or whatever now and then they don't want to do it it's just yeah. like one of those things like you can't really control it so yeah it's so far. obviously not ideal on your first trip to australia which is a bummer. no it's like now we're here to fucking have way across the world and it yeah. happens I and mean, it's just like yeah it is what it is but you know what the other side of that is it's nice to know that Noah's actually human because yeah. <laughs> the dude is just an insane talent. Yeah, that, uh, that might silence some fucking, you know, uh, theories yeah, that we have, but, like, you know, vocal playbacks. It's just like, no, we do, but we don't because then we will fucking yeah, play. <laughs> we'll yeah, just mime yeah. it. Like, no, if he doesn't sound good, if we feel like he can't perform, like, it's not because there's a lot of falsetto in our new songs, you know? Yeah. And if something happens, you get a little bit of cold or something happens to your throat in yeah. particular and you can't fucking sing it, what are we going to do? You're like, you know, it's like... It's been a short visit so far, yeah. but what's been your favourite part of Australia so far? Holding... Jeffrey. Je who was Jeffrey? The koala. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, it was, I didn't realize it was going to be that big of an impact to just do that because we were there for like two hours and saw all these crazy animals. But like when you actually like, you, you put your hands like this and then you put this trunk in there and I was like, everybody just showing up, yeah. just showing up like a sun and just like, oh, it was just unreal. <laughs> so that was probably the coolest thing. I can imagine though that like, Obviously, the last album being, you know, a pandemic album sort of thing. You guys are probably not going to want to use stuff from that anyway. You've been out on tour now for a long time since that. You, you, your approach and vibe is going to be completely different anyway. You're not the same people you were then. No, exactly. It's like we we, we like to reinvent ourselves pretty much in every album. And every album we hear from us will be like, oh, it's a new thing again. We're yeah. like, we don't want to do another album like, you know, the last album again. It's like not fun although like a lot of it i think we hit a little bit of a home run in a lot of cool ways like we like oh, this is yeah. cool and let's bring that kind of thinking into the new shit but like yeah. still like i said reinvent it and like just fucking just, just write and whatever fit whatever is good ends up on the record if it's fucking acoustic song if it's a heavy song if yeah, it's any electronic yeah, Do you yeah. Think of a influence from the crowd response like i said like you got to really heavily tour uh -huh. concrete jungle and so you can go, cool, this worked really well in a live response. Like, we got a call and response from that. Or this is what set the crowd off. Does that, like, kind of dictate the way you write? Or is it more just the, what you want to do and hope the crowd comes up? Yeah, probably the latter. But now, we, like, we know what, what people like, which is really good for you. But at the end of the day, like, we're always kind of trying to impress ourselves first. Yeah. Like, we're the ones that need to like it first. We need to enjoy this first. And, and like, when we think it's good... And like we're all in the same boat about it, like this is fucking awesome. Kind of doesn't really matter to me what other people think. Yeah. I just really hope that they like it, and, and they do a lot of the time. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's like... I'm sure to people that don't like it, but like it's very good. But like we just love this. We really don't care what anyone else thinks, though. Like label or everyone who tells different things what it should sound like. 
and or people or dance and like you should do more of that concentrate on this do more heavy like we don't care like yeah, all yeah. these suggestions kind of yeah. all right one more question because we got we know you're a busy man you've got lots of stuff to do uh the final question that we ask all right you're about to go on stage today mm -hmm. all right what do you go on stage wearing you have to choose either cold wet socks or cold wet underwear but uh, probably socks honestly oh I knew I liked it. Yeah, no, nah, everyone's I knew I liked saying it. underwear. Yeah, everyone's I don't socks. know if I want to have like soaked underwear. Or, like, I, I, it, oh, you said cold? Yeah. Because that can be kind of nice on your feet. No. <laughs> a little yeah, bit, feet, yeah, yeah, a little bit of cold, garage. like, you know. We'll put it this way I'd go underwear. I even brought spare socks today because it's a bit wet. I can't fucking And do his that underwear shit. is already wet. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like, well, I got to go now. Uh, <laughs> oh, thank you guys for having me. Stoke to get to play today. Yeah, so, I'm um, excited. Fuck you, man. Too. We'll be out there. Keen as. Peace. Gates have just opened. You can see the people streaming in. You can also see the people running towards the merch tent. One of those people was Johnny. Ooh, we got some funky bass going on. So Malevolence are just setting up now. They are first off the bat today. I'm so excited to see them. I missed them last time they're here. So we're going to get Johnny's merch and then head straight over to the pit. Sydney, I can't fucking hear you. Take a seat. That's all. We like to get friendly in here. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's got to stop saying that to people. Hands straight down the pen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> super friendly. Yeah, let's right off the bat. Let's do it. Yeah, like cancelable friendly. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. He's like, why did I say yes? <laughs> yeah, I got it. All right. Uh, Where's yeah. the exit? It's, it's hence why we've got the real cushy, deep lounge, so it's harder for people to get up without making it obvious. I love the strategy. Yeah, we're so happy here. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. We just briefly said we've been able to sort of like kind of watch you guys just take off. It's been a fun ride to be part of for us. Sure. How has it been? Obviously, there's been such a huge demand for you to get here for so long. Yeah. How does it feel actually being here and seeing the crowds get involved? I was literally just talking to a couple guys in uh, catering and just being like, I can't believe that we're all getting to do this in this fashion and for it to be the first knot fest. You yeah. Know? So for us, like to be able to do this and then also have the first show in uh, Melbourne, like, oh my God, it was just mental. I didn't even know what venue we were playing until like a couple of nights before. Yeah. yeah and cool. um, I checked it out and I was like, there's no way. Like, we're playing this? Like, that makes no sense. It's like no debut sense. show. Yeah, yeah. So. It's definitely been really crazy, and uh, yeah, it's a lot to take in. It's very overwhelming. The, the Have you been out touring in Australia before with previous music? Once in my old band. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I used to play in a band called The Rest of the Bear once. Yeah. And uh, they had done it a couple times before I got to do it with them. So, you know, the attitude on that tour was, hey, there's the Opera House. <laughs> We've seen that before. Take yeah. a look. Yeah. And then you drive past it, and yeah. that's it. So, to be able to do this in this fashion and have some time. So crowd reception is like obviously Melbourne, it goes without saying. Uh, today it's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, has it sort of really put the fire in you guys to try and get back here and do your own thing? Because the demand is obviously there. Oh my God, yeah. We, we're, we are chomping at the bit to come back, do our full like headline thing, you know, if that's the case, if we can do that, that'd be amazing. Um, because as I said before, like we had no idea what to expect. And then once the first one sold out and being able to do these three dates, it's just kind of like, okay, like we have to come back and be, you know? So, <laughs> uh, obviously we haven't had the chance to see you guys before, but we've seen like the videos, we've seen a lot of live footage. I've got to say, bringing Josh in has added an entirely yeah. different dynamic. Yeah. What, the dude's an absolute weapon on stage. Incredible. Got the vocal abilities as well. Yeah. Like, He's, you guys are a performance. It's not just, oh yeah, like they play music. The, the whole thing is very captivating. Oh, that's and awesome. To see it in like a festival setting, like I can only imagine what it'd be like having your own shows too. Oh, I, I appreciate you saying that. Yeah. I mean, Josh has been amazing. He's supporting Courtney a lot live and like those two, it's so funny. It's like, you never know how, because obviously I've heard him sing before on record, right? Yeah. Like I know his songs and everything. He's got such an iconic voice. Yeah. But then you don't know what it's going to be like when you're like, okay, well, how's he going to sound with Courtney? True. And when yeah. I first heard that together, when we were rehearsing, when he was first on with us, I was like, yeah, it's going to sound like good. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it, was, it was such a great, um, it's, it's such a great boost for everyone in the band, especially Courtney, because you know, she's, she's wearing many hats. Yeah. You know, like she's, singing and she's screaming and you know all that so it's like josh being able to be there when she needs some downtime where she's not just gonna like 
you know front end of the whole like uh you know what i mean yeah someone else can take over that yeah know? uh should we finish on the tough question yeah okay so you've already played your set but uh yeah. tomorrow at brisbane you're gonna go up before you get on stage you're gonna put on cold wet underwear or cold wet socks okay what do you choose uh i'm gonna go with the socks i'm gonna go with the socks, the socks. To today yeah. have to do the socks why everything else would be so distracting but are I, you kidding me yeah i like you so much and now you've ruined things <laughs> well we're never going to talk again. It's okay. It's not my fault. Yeah. You asked me the question. Yeah, you're right. That's, you're a, that's a good point. Johnny's a dick. Good, like, I'm yeah. subscribed to your YouTube channel, dude. What's up with that? Now I'm... Okay, cool. So, is again, it, I'm the dick. I just want to point out that Johnny is... This is the first time we've ever had a guest truly understand that Johnny's a dick. <laughs> it's lovely. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Is, is it the chafe that puts you off? It could be. Okay. Day to day. I mean... Do you not experience chafe even without You've got me? bodybuilder thighs, so... Well, like, I appreciate you saying that. I yeah. like you now. Thank you very much. Yeah. We're, we're friends. It's all, it's all good. It's all good now. <laughs> it's come back around. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Full Everything's circle. fine. Yeah, full full circle. I'm with you, though. Team socks, 100%. Because yeah. this being wet, chafy, and gross, no thank you. Not for me, dude. Yeah. Not for me. Especially, you know, sometimes when you're touring and everything, it's like, if you're in a rush, maybe you don't get to... But then also on the flip side, maybe someone strategically does that to make things better that's in what that people department. Said. That's, the, that's Johnny's one thing. Like, oh, it could cool you down. I don't could. want to have a cold dick. Yeah. I've always said that. <laughs> yeah, cold no, dick. hey, fair. I, I subscribe to that too. Yeah, we're well, done. thank you so much for coming <laughs> to hang out. Thank you, guys. We're Appreciate excited it. to have you back here. Thanks so much. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, look forward to seeing you more in the future. Awesome. Give yourself some time off next time you come out. We'll, uh, we'll take you and do some adventures. Let's hang. Let's do it. That'd be awesome. Peace. Thanks, everyone. I just asked Johnny, you know how we on the channel we talk about would you rather have wet socks with undies? Johnny brought a change of socks, not a change of underwear. He said he doesn't want to lose his underwear because what if he gets an erection in his skinny jeans? My question is, how often are you getting an erection at music festivals when you're in skinny jeans that you hide with your underwear? Look, I don't want to go into details, but all I'm going to say, Nate, is I really, really love music. And I really, really love live music. Sorry, that's... We're going to put a count of how many times I say I hate you today on the channel. I think we're at like 30 so far, but I hate you. And McGee backs me up on that one. <laughs> anyway. so what do you think about this tour has made it the, the biggest and best for you? Is it just the crowd engagement? Is it... I think it's probably just kind of like coming back from, you know, a couple years of no touring. And, yeah. And, uh, you know, having a, a couple records for people to kind of sit with for a bit, probably... It was good at least. It seemed like people were stoked on the new stuff, even though we're not playing a ton. But since we kind of had some side shows, we can kind of like yeah, mix up the set. So we're like trying to like throw in a couple here and there. And, but it's good. And, and and the old stuff seems to hold up. So so obviously, you know, shorter sets on, on festival shows like this. Unfortunately. Exactly. That's my point. With so many albums and so many songs and, you know, so many bangers that, that your fans want to hear. How do you how do you choose? I mean, forty five is really hard to pick for because we're used to if we do a headline, there's like three bands. We'll do hour forty five to two hours, and what we did in the last European tour, which was seven and a half weeks long, we would change the set every single night. So every single night was an entirely different set. We bring stuff in that hadn't been played in like ten years. So we brought in Callisto in the last tour. I think we did forty eight songs in the last tour, last European tour alone. Far out. Just constantly rotating or rotating. Because we have the pig pen there. That's where we've got like our V kit and all the amps and everything. We can do full do like a 30 minute band warm up together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have that right now, so it's just me and Alex with the practice pad and the guitar acoustically. But in Europe, yeah, 48 songs, uh, hour 20, which hour 15 feels short to us. Yeah, for sure. Is this music or just in general? Oh, just, just in, in general. general. You guys have been here like 20,000 okay. times now, right? You're not giving yeah. me easy shit like, oh, <laughs> name the yeah. second word in Parkway. Uh, <laughs> anyway, three Aussie actors, let's go. Hugh uh, Jackman, yeah, Chris uh, Hemsworth. Uh, Gerard Butler, right? No, Gerard Butler's not. He's no. Oh no, he's from Scotland, right? Yes. Are yeah, you? that's right. I always mix that up. Because it's South Park, that's why. Yeah, yeah. Because South Park, uh, they Nicole, had a movie Nicole Kidman plays South Park. That's why, that's why. <laughs> is Nicole Kidman from here? Yes, yes. she is. Well done, well done. Well done. Well Gerard Butler, I'll get, I'd give a half answer. Thanks to he's South got a weird, he's got that accent that like kind of like, it kind of morphs sometimes. Well, because they did the fighting around the world thing. No, that's Russell Crowe. That was Russell Crowe, yeah. That's what I was thinking. He is also Australian. They look kind of similar too. But wasn't Russell Crowe technically New Zealander? He was born in New Zealand. Let's look at him. Beloved Australian dish that spawns from both Italy and Belgium by way of the UK. Is, are you triviaing me? Oh, yes. I love Fuck. that. <laughs> Say it again. Beloved Australian dish that you can find at bars or at homes that spawns from both Italy and technically Belgium that through way of the UK. 
It's got to be a pasta dish, right? There you go. Let's put the answer. You gave us the answer. Gnocchi? Chicken parmesan and chips. I was going to say parma. Yeah. No Parmy. Parmy's a classic. That is a classic. Parma. Yeah, I'm a bar. I've never gone to a bar and ordered gnocchi. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> you just trying to show how fancy you are. Uh, Alright. Uh, Alright. Uh, are we going to... They're busy guys. Give them the tough one. The tough one? one? Alright. Yeah. Okay. Because we don't like to fuck around. Right. He likes to fuck around a bit. You guys are going on stage tonight, right? You're all warmed up. Yeah. You're all ready to go. Okay, you're comfortable. You're ready to go. Then actually, someone's pulled out. out. Someone's pulled out, and you've extended your set by an yeah. hour. Okay, you got to either go on stage wearing cold, wet socks or cold, wet underwear. What do you choose and why? Cold, wet socks. Mo Everyone yeah. said socks today, and I loved all these bands, and now I fucking hate I'm them. Team socks. You'd rather wear cold underwear? Yeah, dude. Cold I can't idiot. smush around in wet socks. But you're gonna walk around and run in smushy like diaper if, material. If it was really hot, I'd maybe Steve. consider that. If it was like super, super hot, I'd maybe I would do the underwear. But, but dude, you power dance a lot. Yeah, and if you've got juices dripping out, <laughs> man, that's not gonna be good. But do you want your feet squelching in juices? And Joe, you're gonna get you're gonna get sultana not, toes, man. I'm trying to look out for your feet. I've got sweaty feet as it is, and I'm used to getting ringworm all the time from jujitsu, so it's fine with me. I, I, was, I, I see. I was gonna use the jujitsu thing as like, you know, you don't want to get wrinkly and wet. Oh no, it happens all the time. Okay. There's always some kind of ringworm living between the mats or something. So. Well, that's and on that note, <laughs> don't do jujitsu. Welcome to jujitsu. Watch out for that. Yeah, that's what you take away from this. <laughs> Welcome back. That'll be the YouTube thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> by the spider. <laughs> and it's just Johnny, nothing but wet socks. It's a close up. Well, Gotta get the extra clicks. Yeah. Uh, here I am standing in front of the two main stages where I will be performing later, my stand up. Uh, it's gonna get really, really awkward and I'll probably just end up trying to make people laugh by taking my pants off. Thanks, bye. Hi. How are you, buddy? How you going? I found you. I missed I like it. Well, you did, you did, you found us. Are you disappointed? No, I am not. I want to see you guys down there rowing. All right, give us your best row. Hang on, what? Johnny, can you just give me your row for one second? Yeah, that's You it. guys yeah. are good. Oh, this so much. But, but I'll say one thing. You look a bit more buff on the table. Yeah, really yeah, and that's what we want. That's you weren't rowing, you were fucking. You were doing that. That's not rowing. That's the same thing. Yeah. Well, well, that's that's it. It. Uh, anyway, do I look more so, buff um, or... You're still good looking, so it doesn't matter. Come on now. You're still funny. We're done with this interview. We're done. Come on now. Someone's got it now. Someone's got it So what's your thoughts on Courtney from Spurbox? Oh. All the footage and everyone's seen it's been like god level, like actually just like doesn't miss a beat. Yeah, it's what we expected though. Yeah, you're right. It's what we expected. She, she oh, that's right. fun. It's a cool yeah. Shoes. yeah, I like that. Oh, I'm talking yeah. fancy shoes. Yeah. Right. Very jo good. Johnny wears elf vans. Yep. Oh. They point up at the toes. No, okay. these hey. ones don't. They're still right, right. Yeah. Sometimes I'm um, feeling a little bit elfy. <laughs> I would appreciate if you got off my back. All right. <laughs> You already said to me out there, oh, I guess I've got to come talk to you guys. <laughs> so, but no, nah, thanks, man. I was there for that, so I didn't hear it. it. Boys, fucking killer set earlier. Absolutely yeah, ripped it up. Uh, nice and nice and sweaty up there early in the day. It was. Very fucking hot. Yeah, it was but hot. surely you prefer that than shitty and rainy, right? Yeah. yeah. It looks like it's going to rain in like an hour. They're on stage. Yeah, They're undercover. Rain. They're good. Nah, yeah. you get a shitty side rain, that could fuck shit up. Yeah, it's true. true. I would, yeah. Today's weather was fine. I mean, we've played outside like fucking five times in our life, so I mean, we'll take it. Yeah, how do you go with that yeah. first? Like, obviously, you guys can control because you've got a very like curated appearance when you're on stage. Like, you, yeah. you guys have like the flashing back screen stuff. Yeah. How do you find being like. I thought you were going to say like, cute. What? I thought you were about to say cute. They're very cute. You guys are appearance. fucking adorable when you play. <laughs> no, how do you find when you have to play in full daylight as opposed to that own curated show? It feels exposed. But, I mean, you just get up there and do the same thing you do in the dark. Yeah. You know? I think the fact, we don't, <laughs> the fact we don't play outside a lot, it's kind of like... It's fun. exciting. Yeah, it's yeah. more fun because we don't do it. Yeah. We're like, you know, a club is just like, oh, it's just another day, you know? Fun. Outside is like, it's fun. I don't get to do this much. Yeah. So, also, yeah. if memory serves, the last time you guys were on, we asked Dream Artist, and you said, yeah. yeah, wow. You're fucking yeah. old and you forget shit. To me, no, no, no. That, uh, oh, yeah. yeah. It's it's a, manifest. Yeah. Wow. Been, They've done a lot or, of touring since then as well. Is it us? Did yeah. we make it? Yeah, we made this happen. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. I mean, now that you say it's me, I mean, I'm like, oh, that's great. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, very, uh, very <laughs> what, what other bands do you guys want to play with? I guess. Yeah, we got to figure this out, eh? That is a big one though. Today, you guys have done a lot of touring now. Speak this little bit, we have to play a little bit. Metallica. Come on, Limbiscuit, Metallica, Sally Ship's pants. 
Yeah, straight up. Probably just went, come on. <laughs> 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 that was the set. Really gross. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was horrible. Yeah. Listen to it from Australia. Oh, <laughs> have you had a chance at all to come across the Slipknot gentleman? I literally just did. Oh. I've, I've said yes. I was too scared. I haven't oh. said hello. I was too scared. Yeah. Um, yes, that's weird. Um, I was sad. Yes. To say, <laughs> me out. Please, don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. I was. Yeah. I was just watching In Flames and then Jim Root and the new bass player uh, B Man. Yeah. Just would They were just hanging. They just came super high. Yeah, I was like, Yeah. This. This is totally that's fine. It. Yeah. This yeah, is fine. They're just there. Cool. It's like it's like two head heights taller than me too. It's fucked up. Everyone is, man. I'm with you. Hey, I'm with you. We, yeah. Yeah, I feel like every photo we've taken today, I'm like shrinking to. I'm like, yeah. Fuck. Five, seven, five, seven. Yeah. (laughs) All right. What's up next for you guys? What do you got coming up? Let the people know. Surely you're due for a break. Literally, yeah. Literally, the next thing we have is that Unify show. James, but we go to Europe in like a week. My fucking god. (laughs) (laughs) We are headlining Europe. He's very appreciative of all your support. I'm of Australia. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, yeah, we go to Europe. Uh, in a week, first headline ever over there. Sick. Yeah. Who are you Actually, playing with? Uh, it's us, King at 10, uh, 1056, and Exile from New Zealand. Holy fuck. Um, are tickets still on sale? Tickets are on sale. Europeans, uh, get out. Get amongst it. Some UK dates are sold out. Jeez. Uh, too fucking bad. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Snoozy Lose. Snoozy Lose, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then, yeah, we come back and we do um, Off the Road with. Uh, off off the record. Off the record. Off the record. Yeah. It's okay. I got you. Um, yeah, the Unify show in um in Tasmania, which is yeah. Are you just doing the one? Just the one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Tasmania. That's a good call. Yeah. Well, I like, like that. You know, Alpha was kind of like original hometown. Yeah. So it's like a little throwback there. Um. And then yeah, the year keeps going from there, but it's not announced, so we can't talk about it. Um, <laughs> no, so, no, do it. We'll stop recording. Also, <laughs> also oh, we're doing an album. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah nice. Yeah. So, yeah, 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 I feel like that's the next thing that people are waiting yeah. for. People are waiting, and it's you know we're working on it. Thank you, boys. <laughs> we're we're stoked to have you, and also again, you guys crush it. It's sick to see like you going from strength to strength. We're really proud of you. So Thank you. keep going. Cheers. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Thanks, lads. Salute him. Nice oh, yeah. to finally meet you, Pete. It's lovely. You know, come in here. Give me a hug. Oh man! One of our one of our OG subscribers has it's made his all the way way all the way to Sydney, way way all the way to Sydney. I don't know if you met Johnny, he can't speak English. I'm so yeah. sorry oh, I'm about exactly him. Yeah. I, I am Johnny. Oh yeah. no, not two of you. I think I've found so far the best dressed person here. Fucking Mate, this is incredible. Mate. What what's the inspiration behind this? What is, I'm that, actually, is there I'm a pair? actually a cattle farmer? Oh yeah. Yeah. No way. I feel like the festivals bring out the best, like actually the best in the metal yeah. community. Everyone's in such good spirits. Everyone's here for the same reason. Yeah, exactly. So it's, it's a really positive experience. Except for him. Being with him is not so positive. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if you had a cattle themed metal band, what would it be called? Ooh. Got you thinking on the spot here, mate. Ooh. Cow with the sickness? Yeah, that would yeah. be good. Yeah. Cow with the, oh yeah, no, that's bad. That's bad for, that's bad for cattle. Uh, I don't know. What about Moo Levelance? Sorry, I'm still not okay, good. That, no, that was actually, <laughs> Levelance, yeah, Moo Levelance. And McGee, and McGee. And McGee, yeah. <laughs> but, We're gonna give it out to McGee. Exactly right. You're the yeah. first person I think has ever truly given it up for him, apart from- Yeah, look oh, at him, he's, he's smiling like a Cheshire cat. He actually doesn't care. He's just like, I'm doing my job, guys. Shut the <laughs> fuck up. He's trying to cut out Joni out of one ear. Yeah, that's a very- where the fuck do you start? If with you that? were a colour, what colour <laughs> would you be? Yeah. <laughs> start with a deep yeah. question. Right? Yeah. Because Johnny asked this the other day. If you were an animal, would you be? Johnny would be a wombat. Yeah, I can see that. That's good. Oh, thank you. I guess. Is what it because I'm be? robust and strong? I think it's the beard. Okay. <laughs> it, is, look, it is actually, you know what, it's your head. It's, yeah, it's, it's the you've wombat. Wombat-ish, wombat-ish face. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that as a compliment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know what I'd be about. I, I would think that you would be, I would, I would say you're a dolphin. You I, know what? Yeah. You're intelligent. I have a really um, big nose. <laughs> The Thanks, best, man. Best. Thanks. Uh, you, you, you're yeah. quite agile. <laughs> you're agile in the water, and you're not mean like a shark. But when you need to be ferocious, you can be. Okay. Okay. Well, sure. Let's be like a an orca and, would be more accurate than. Oh yeah, I think that I can. And then I can eat a shark if I have to. I'll take that. All right. Free will, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. This it must be Respect. like a big thing though. Like obviously, it's a fucking massive thing. Yeah, dude, it's a fucking massive thing. This is a massive. Like when this shit came through, it's it's nuts. It's it's really it's really nuts. And um, it's well deserved. I know cheers, you man. Don't like, want to blow smoke too much, but nah, it's well deserved. Like, yeah, thanks. 
appreciate it. I'll, I'll fucking own it. Like yeah, I'll say, we've, yeah. worked, we've worked our asses off. And, yeah, fuck yeah. But at the, at the same point in time, um, it's really interesting. We played last night. So it first first night at Notfest, Melbourne, and I, it was it's very rare that I'm just straight up floored by a yeah. show. Like, I spent the whole time knowing what the show was going to be and at the same point in time, like, just going, what the fuck is going on? This is like... I, this is just, I, I never thought I'd see this in this country. That's it. I've never thought I'd feel this in this country. Is so. there any apprehension about second night? Like first night Melbourne's known Oh, no, no. Day. That's the first pancake. Great. Like, like it only gets better for me. That's the thing. <laughs> no, no, that's no. That's the I best know. analogy I've ever heard. Because the first pancake is always shit. Yeah, it always, it's always is. Shit. It always is. Like that, it's the one where like the nerves are it in there. It still tastes good. It just doesn't look as good. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but it's, it's sometimes a bit crispy and a bit oily and the consistency isn't just right. Yeah. And you have to put a bit like too much. Night. First pancake. Looks yeah. Like yeah. Second generation. <laughs> and then we've got McGee who's just delicious over there. Yeah. Yeah. I know, I said, I said we need to have him in front of the camera more. He's the best looking person out of the yeah, three. He's doing pretty Perfect good. Yeah. you got a smooth setup. <laughs> <laughs> and he's not talking about your camera. Yeah. Like, we look at it. Like We watched we watched the, the first movie back the other day. Um, did you guys do that together? Yeah. yeah. That's fucking we cool. Got some, we, got some, we got some stuff coming out to do with it. And we're like, we haven't watched this in ages. And I was like, the really weird thing was that we looked at it and we're like, man, we were so young. Yeah. But we could remember so many details of it. And at the end of it, I was like, still the same mission statement, isn't it? Like, it still resonates exactly the same. Like, everything about it, I was just like, we're just further down the line. And everything that we kind of, I can see in, like, those early things what the ambition was. You just may not have realized how much potential there was yeah. behind the ambition. <laughs> at that so, time, I feel like you guys helped pay, but you were also coming on a journey as heavy metal and, and the music scene. It's now enabled bands to be able to do bigger things. Yeah. You guys were part of that, of taking yeah. those steps to allow bands to be able to go, yeah, like we've earned this, this right to do this type of tour yeah. or to play in this sort of way. Especially in this in this country, definitely. Yeah, yeah it's it's uh, we're very aware of that. Like we were we we're aware of that really early on. Like of like we ran out of like footsteps to follow quite early in our yeah. career, and and then from that point on, we were like, all right, we're doing this. Like that, we're, now, now it's yeah, no, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But we, we'll we'll do it, and we'll do it. We'll, we've got to figure this out ourselves. And like, and once that was happening, like telling our friends back home in bands, like this is how you do it. Like, if, it. You, if you're going overseas, like talk to these people, do it this way. No, that's that. This is how you get into the country. This is how you get your gear over without getting like rammed for excess. Yeah, shit like that. Like really basic things that started us, but 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 even it, but even now it's just like now you're just talking bigger scale stuff, and and like. You do, you have a stack of Australian bands on this lineup crushing it. Yeah. You watch some like I watched Northland yesterday and I was like, damn, that show looks fucking cool. These songs are good. There is thousands of people losing yeah. their shit right now. And I was like, look at this, man. Like, look at this. Like all of they like they remember the same times early on as us because they were there. They weren't playing in bands yet, but they were at the, the shows, shows. In the scene they know what it's like in a PCYC yeah, yeah. Like, and now and now like you have a whole generation that is like rising up and is seen as like the cream of the crop on a yeah, recognised sure. internationally as well holding so. their own overseas doing yeah, their man. own headline to that's it. it their own yeah, identity you, yeah, exactly the next step Parkway Drive being the soundtrack to the next like series in, of Game of Thrones or something like that. Yeah, dude. Bring it the fuck You've on. got them connections. Get me in there, oh, buddy. Yeah, Johnny, set it up with That'd be great. Right, a dragon? <laughs> Jesus. I'll be a stunt dolphin. Is that a euphemism? <laughs> 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 yeah, you heard it first. Stunt dolphin. Stunt orca. Yeah, stunt orca. Yeah. 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 Carry it. An orca on an orc. There you go. An orc on an orca. <laughs> Beautiful. Parkway Drive's it. next music video. <laughs> uh, yeah. People are going to watch this and go, I knew that was going to sell out. Yeah. <laughs> Would you... Thank you for coming to hang out with us, taking the time. We're pumped, Pleasure. as we said, like to see the, the success you've got now, it's so deserved. And we're excited to come be part of but watch be part of it. It's, yeah, cool. so, it's gonna be fun, man. It's gonna be a really good vibe. And uh, everyone out there stay safe and anyone shit's gonna go down and please be safe. And if anyone <laughs> is not so safe <laughs> tomorrow when, when you're watching this, I'm really sorry if I jumped on your head. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not. No, he's not. <laughs> Thanks for carrying me. <laughs> no gas! Get up the fucking drums!
No, don't need anything. You just stay hydrated. Oh, I want to squirt that so bad. I want to do that thing where you. Oh, yeah. That would have been. Uh, except the studio would have got wet, and that wouldn't have been great. I would have allowed it. There's nothing. The computer's closed as protected as it could be. It would have been. What ideal. about soggy carpet that you I'd get that soggy it. stench? Actually, it gets quite warm in here, so it would probably dry. Yeah, it'd be fine. Hey, anyway, uh, this, is, like this is us wrapping up NotFest because one thing we didn't anticipate how well organized NotFest was because there was just like back to back stages, one, two, and. It was constant music. We didn't get a chance to really like wrap up in the crowd because we finished interviews and ran straight out. So we get a chance to watch Trivium and then straight into uh, a bit of Mega Death Parkway Slipknot. Yeah, what a, what a day, what a night. Uh, oh, what a night. <laughs> oh, what anyway, that's not what you came here for. Uh, yeah, look, like Nate said, it was an insanely well run festival. It was seamless and smooth i mean you know the only sort of negative feedback i heard at all was that the merch lines were quite long but food and drink lines were quite easy to get through there was minimal problems that we heard about if any uh merch it was such a good is, vibe is also just a testament to one how good you guys are they're getting out there and supporting the artists and actually buying merch i think that's yeah. fucking sick it's awesome it's so good there was lines all day every day every day all day at every merch store because there was multiple merch stores and it's sick seeing you guys get out and support the artists that you're there to watch every day is, every day is correct though because I saw even Melbourne and Brisbane were exactly the same yeah but I didn't mean to say that we weren't at those I'm trying, those trying to back you up here oh, okay. right. I'm an idiot <laughs> uh, yeah so if you were there you bought some merch well done to you uh, I'm sure the artists really appreciate that because it does put a bit of money back in their pockets it's expensive to put on this sort of thing and seeing 30,000 people there each day turn up and rock the fuck out is the best. So. It just shows the the state of guitar-driven music in this country at the moment and, and your desire for it and your support for it, which is really great. Uh, and I, I just think it's going to come back bigger and better next year. I really do hope some of the other festivals take a little bit of a, a sort of inspiration from this business model moving forward because it did run really seamlessly. Yeah. We've got a few people that we need to shout out and thank. Yeah. We got quite a few people. Number one, first and foremost, we have to thank the lovely Janine. She is our guardian angel. She is one of our favourite people on the planet, and she hooks all this stuff up for us. And 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 although it, it does, as we continue this journey, get a little bit easier to sort of line things up, she's just always our guiding light for all this, and she works so tirelessly, tirelessly behind the scenes for not just us, but all the other bands, all the other PR, all the other uh, media and stuff like that. Janine, we love you so much. Yeah, 90% of the chats you see us have with artists on this channel come through Janine at Dallas Does PR. And yeah, we, we cannot thank her enough for that and her team um, who make it just so easy for us to kind of do what we do. All the people that destroy our lines that put on the festival, not fest itself, all the bands that take time to come and hang out with us because obviously there's a ton of press. They've got all these requirements of things they have to do to come yeah. and spend some time to hang out with us and then to do it again later on like a lot of these artists the second third time we've chatted with them we really appreciate that from them and last but not least you guys uh we had more people than ever come up to us at this festival to come and either take photos say hi just shout out from afar as you're running on the, your way to the next stage and i think that's such a cool thing to see the reach that this channel's got within australia i can't imagine what it'd be like overseas because our international audience is 75 percent of you guys um <laughs> so just Thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone that shows that support and, and comes along and says hi and tells Johnny he's not as much of a dickhead as I tell him that he is. <laughs> yeah, surprisingly, there's a lot of those. Like, he's actually kind of nice in real life. Or um, we get the opposite. You're right, he is a dickhead. Yeah, that is true. There is a few of those. Uh, but like Nate said, we would not be still doing this largely if it wasn't for you guys supporting us and making us feel like what we do is important to, to you guys, to bands and the music scene. It is really, really humbling to see how much of an impact we've had on your search for new music. Uh, and we honestly do love meeting you guys. So please don't ever be shy. Come up and say hello. Have a chat. Uh, if it's at a festival, we will have the camera there. So you will potentially get to feature on one of these videos. Sorry about uh, that. Yeah. And even if you're not a fan of the channel and we see you wearing a cool outfit, you'll probably get to feature on the channel as well. I want to wrap this up by asking, what was your favorite moment of the day? Oh, God. A proper wrap-up of the actual festival. Look, this was one of those things for me where not only was the festival run incredibly, not only was 
like were the people so lovely not only was the backstage vibe like just really cool and chilled but the sound was amazing and every single band brought their fucking a game every single band sounded fucking flawless perfect it was so great i would have to say uh highlights for me other than all of that stuff in general uh, bad omens like Noah pushing through and actually you know getting out there and nailing the set uh, they are such a fantastic band um, you know you got to give oh, fuck wait, it's just, it was just all so good Courtney from he's Spirit lost Box voice, just, he's lost his conversation yeah like Spirit Box were just everything I hoped they would be um, Parkway Drive just absolutely bringing it like you know when we've got a couple of surfers from Byron Bay that are now at that level where their stage show is just up there and just equivalent to bands like Slipknot is so such a a pride evoking thing because yeah. it's just so cool and Slipknot of course just proving again why they've been around so long so Johnny's favourite moment of the day was the day that's what he's saying you know saying what there. my highlight of, of Not Fest was Not Fest thanks for bringing it out and definitely hope you're coming back what was yours do you have a specific moment yeah it was Parkway it was seeing okay. the obviously really proud of those boys as you said but seeing the just extensives of people going as far as your eye can see the pyrotechnics the stage performance because you're right they are like a a stadium level band now to see a heavy metal band that has that sort of reach yeah. grasp forethought to put in the production they have i thought that was a really really cool impressive thing and i think it was a really good reflection on where the state of heavy music is within australia the fact that that can happen on that scale um so i'm going to just say one and to me it was parkway cool because I'm saying not fest. He's saying Parkway. I'm going to answer the question that was actually asked. I'm actually also going to give a shout out to the punters in general. How awesome it was to see Malevolence starting their set and already the the crowd just oh, in there, the ready yeah, to yeah. go. It's just like eleven a.m. Yeah, but, fuck yeah, we're ready also, to march. That comes down to the festival being well organised. That they let people Got in, in quick. smoothly enough yeah. to have them there for the first band. Because yeah, there's nothing sure. worse than like here's the first band. I don't want to point fingers at Unified Festival 2018, but I will, <laughs> when Polaris were playing and we were literally just standing in line waiting to get through. Yeah. And I was like, oh, cool. Well, that's them playing that we can't watch right now. And that sucked. Yeah. That seems to be rectified now. They've fixed these mistakes. So that's awesome. And I'm excited for the next one. So excited for the next one. Anyway, thanks for watching our little video. Uh, we hope you're enjoying these. We plan on bringing you many, many more of them. Uh, if festivals like Not Fest will continue to have us back. I haven't ruined it for us yet. <laughs> it's He's on the verge, though. I <laughs> haven't taken you. my pants off backstage. He's tried to. Very well. Bye, guys. <laughs>